I have a project with Can uh, Canadian Space Agency, and in that project, uh, we are looking for the best path for uh, rovers. And uh, when we talk about base, uh, best path for a rover, then the conditions that that best path is going to be defined is going to be very different. For example, you would like to go from point A to point B with minimum energy, or you would like to go uh, from point A to point B with minimum risk. So it depends again on the requirement, the solution will be completely different. So it's not something that you can uh, look at it from a black box solution. You have to have a good mathematical approach to this. And, uh, and just because there is a huge level of um, optimization involved, uh, we have to have a very condensed and efficient set of equation that we can put it into that optimization procedure. And the reason that uh, we uh, use and approach MapleSoft was to uh, get to that level that instead of spending uh, days and probably months to get to that best path, uh, we can do that at a much, much lower uh, time. We have a complete model of uh, a rover and uh, just for the dynamic simulation of that model, if we uh, try to use the numerical uh, model, it would take um, in the range of tens of a seconds. But when we use the condensed symbolic equation, that is uh, close to one, two seconds. So that's a huge difference, especially when you need to reiterate and you need to redo this calculation over probably for thousands and hundreds of thousands of times. Um, yes, that's, I think, uh, uh, one of the biggest advantages of using symbolic equations over numerical models. When we talk about um, green vehicles, uh, it goes back to um, any little things that we can do in order to reduce emission or improve fuel efficiency and other things. Again, remember that um, auto industry is over 100 years old. Finding any ways to improve or to advance this uh, vehicle system is not again that easy because it's a very mature system. The only way to do this is to um, uh, approach it, approach again the overall design from uh, optimization and multidisciplinary optimization system. And, uh, and again in that project what we are planning to do is to have good sophisticated models and again tie that with multidisciplinary optimization in order to improve the overall system rather than looking at subsystems and try to make subsystems better. Because when you make one subsystem better, it doesn't mean that you have contributed also to the whole system. And that's the goal that uh, we have again in this initiative. The main reason that we use Maple and Maple Seam uh, to, uh, in my project with Canadian Space Agency uh, has two probably main aspects. One is to be able to have a good model. The other one is to be able to use again that model in hardware in the loop uh, um, experiments. Uh, Hardware in the loop uh, experiments, you need very, very efficient models because you have to run uh, the, the, the model exactly at the time that things are happening. And if your model is not efficient, then again, there's no way that you can in real time see exactly what the other components are performing. And uh, we investigated other uh, um, software packages and uh, we realized that uh, it could be a seamless integration from the modeling to hardware in the loop and validation. And that's why we, uh, uh, we are using Maple and MapleSync. Maple